Welcome to the Gorilla 7 video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to print reports and save them to a PDF file, in addition to exporting to a different file format, such as Microsoft Excel. Unlike many other programs which only prints what you see on the screen, Gorilla can generate dozens of different reports from the many different modules. In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how to get data out of Gorilla, whether a printed report, a PDF file, or a tab-separated text file, which you can use to import into another program. I'm going to use the sample schedule, Hotel Cucaracha, for this lesson, as it is a full schedule with breakdown sheets, shoot days, multiple strip boards, and cast and crew. There are a few ways to print a report. In the Breakdown Sheets screen, you will see a Print button on the bottom toolbar. Selecting this button will pop up a Quick Report dialog that gives you access to the most commonly used scheduling reports. Let's select the Shooting Schedule Report, which is a great summary of your shoot days, scenes, and elements scheduled. Any report that needs the strip board will ask you to select the board or sometimes the phase that you want to print. In this case, there are three boards. I will choose the first one, since it is our main or default board. Next, and this doesn't happen with all reports, you might be asked to select a single shoot day for the report, or to select all shoot days for the schedule, or the phase selected. I will select all dates. The report will preview on the screen. If the report has multiple pages, you can scroll through the pages using these arrow keys. Other options up here allow you to save as PDF or to print the report to a printer. If you want to cancel the preview, select the Close button to close the window. Next, Let's take a look at some printing preferences for this and other reports. If you select the File pull-down menu and then select the Print option, you will be taken to the Reports module. Here you can access all the scheduling reports, in addition to selecting preferences that can modify the look of the report. Let's select the Production Reports module here on the left, and then you will see the Shooting Schedule report here in the list on the right. This is the same report we just previewed. The only difference here is that you can set some different printing preferences. Click on the gear button. This will vary with each report, but here you can customize the look of the report and select what to print and what not to print. For example, you can decide whether or not to print the element detail, or if you want to print the element name in bold for example. Also, most sorting options will be available in Printing Preferences. Other page setup options such as US Legal or A4 page format are also available. And here you can specify whether or not to print the report name, to print the date of the report, and if you have episodes, which episode to print. As mentioned before, Gorilla can generate dozens of different reports, and that is why there is a sample button, which will allow you to take a look at what the report will look like, filled with sample data before you print it. Let's sample a few reports. First, select the module, and then the report, and click the Sample button. The sample view will only show one page, but once here in this view, you can use the pull-down menu to select a different report to sample. For example, the call sheet report, or the crew call sheet report, or the one-line schedule report. And again, you can take a close look at the report to see if it fits your needs, and then come back and select that report in the list to see if you can modify any printing preferences for that report. Gorilla also allows you to export data to a different format. This is useful if you want to completely manipulate the data, for example, create your own call sheet, or completely redesign the stripboard. If you click the Save to Excel button, 
you will see a list of all the reports that are available to be exported. I'll select the call sheet and show you how that looks in Microsoft Excel. I'll select only one day, as call sheets are usually printed for one day. In this case, you want to select this button here, the Export button. And here you will see a quick preview of what will be exported. Select the Export as Excel to Desktop, and the file will be saved on your desktop. I will open it in Excel, and all the data that would normally print on the report is here, which allows you to manipulate it in any way you want. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.